Hello, everyone. I'm Richard Conway from Dublin, Ireland, reporting for Room Now virtually from ACR 2023. I'm here today to talk to you about Abstract 840, which was presented at uh, Sunday's ORA Oral Abstract session. This was by Zhou Feng Zheng et al. Um, it was a head to head comparison of TLL 018 and tofacitinib in patients with active rheumatoid arthritis. It was a phase two uh, randomized control trial. So, TLL 018. Um, is a new agent. It is a combination JAK1 and TIC2 inhibitor. We'd already seen some of this data presented earlier this year at Jular, um, where it caused uh, quite a commotion. Um, so as I said, this was a phase two randomized controlled trial comparing this new drug to tofacitinib in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. The study was based in China. It enrolled 101 uh, patients. It was for an initial 12-week uh, duration with a 12-week uh, follow-up period. It looked at three different doses of this novel agent, either uh, 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, or 30 milligrams BD. Um, mostly, I'm, I'm going to focus on the higher dose because that had the most uh, positive um, outcomes. And really, to some extent, these were earth-shattering. Um, so we've had so many drugs for rheumatoid arthritis. And the very, very strange thing is that they all seem to come out at around the same numbers in the randomized control trials. There's not very much to differentiate all these agents, despite the fact that they work in very, very different ways. And even when we've done head-to-head -head trials, there may be very, very small differences, but, but nothing huge. This study, however, did show something huge. So ACR 50 response rates at 12 weeks 72% for TLL018 versus 42% uh, for tofacitinib. So an enormous difference. The other new thing we see in the data now is that there was an escape arm in this study. So the patients who were on tofacitinib after 12 weeks, they could switch over to this uh, TLL018. And they did that at the 20 milligram dose. And of those patients, 83% of them reached ATR50 after a further 12 weeks. So this is really, really surprising data to me. This agent looks like a miracle drug. It looks better than anything we've ever seen before. There are no real extra safety signals seen either, so, so nothing on that count. This is either going to go one, or, one of two ways, isn't it? If this, gonna, if this holds up in the phase three trials, this is going to revolutionize our treatment in rheumatoid arthritis. This is going to be the go-through drug. It's probably going to be the first agent used, it's definitely going to be the first advanced therapy used. On the other hand, we've seen promising phase two results before, and it may be that uh, all this falls down and this drug uh, comes out looking more similar to our existing agents. We don't know what's going to happen. We'll need to wait for the phase three data. I am going to put my nickel down and say, I don't think it's going to work out. I think it's going to come down looking the same as everything we've had previously at the end of the day, and that this data is just some sort of blip or fluke. But time will tell. Um, I'm Richard Conway. Follow me on Twitter at Richard P.A. Conway. And remember to tune into Room Now for all the updates from ACR 2023.